Five crews have just recovered the body of a woman killed when the Big Four ice caves collapsed last night. The caves are closed indefinitely as the investigation gets underway. We're also hearing 911 calls for help. Um, one lady, when we were left, was unconscious in the cave, and we had a friend that managed to get out, and she said that she believes that it could be a death. There's like big kind of ice chunks all around it and things have kind of fallen down. The soundage up there when you're near the ice cage, especially this time of year, it's just uh, extremely eerie sounding. This first responder asked that we not use his name. This helicopter was the main artery for search crews working at the ice caves Tuesday. They worked at the site all day, hours of scouting a safe spot to enter. This is rock and ice debris far back in the cave and that's where the victim is. Crews worked with an avalanche technician. They used small explosives to dislodge unstable ice. The body was so far back in the cave, they knew they'd risk their own lives to find it. Not just physically grueling, but emotionally overwhelming. I'm going to actually go for a walk. I'm, I'm just having a tough time with, with this still. And the U.S. Forest Service tells us that the ice caves are still collapsing at this very moment, that the heat continues to wreak its havoc on that, and that the danger continues as that trail stays closed. They keep asking people to take this threat very seriously and to stay away.